was at Target and I overheard two girls talking about me and I said, did you see that girl in the wheelchair? Did you see her legs? I would love myself if I looked like that. Hi Hannah, my name is Lizzie. We don't know each other, but your video came across my For You page a few days ago and absolutely just broke my heart. I wanted to stitch the video right away to send you a message, but I decided to wait. Here's why. I have been in your exact position more times than I can count, where I have been out in public and I've heard people saying things about me, and it is the most helpless feeling in the world. I've posted about it and having the comments almost every single time be so supportive and so kind is always so great, but I'm very aware of the fact that when that does happen, a few days later is when the self-doubt or the negative thoughts slowly start creeping back in. So here I am a few days after you posting this video, I'm assuming, and I am trying to help replace any negative thoughts that might be trying to get to you. There was a part in your video that I could not relate to more because I have felt and thought that many, many times. You said that you were the furthest from your average beauty standard. Now I have something to say about that. I think it's pretty clear that you or I were not put on this earth to be anything standard. We were put on this earth to be different and even if we didn't know what our future was going to hold or how anything was going to happen, we were meant to be in these bodies. Now again, I don't know you personally, but judging from your other posts, I can tell that we both have sort of the same sense of humor about our situation. So with that being said, I'm pretty sure our beauty, our physical appearance, our humor, all of these things are just small parts of who we are as people, and they're wonderful. I wish I could say an experience like this will never happen again, but unfortunately, it probably will. But the next time that you are in that position and you are just feeling so sad and so vulnerable, let those emotions out. I think it's very important to cry or do whatever it is for you to get past and get out whatever it is that you're feeling as long as you promise yourself by the next day you are going to somehow even if it's something very small start looking at the positive sides of things i'm sure you've heard this before but just to remind you you are not alone in experiencing things like this where people who don't know you at all feel the need to express their opinion or judgment about you out loud and it, it sucks. It's the absolute worst. But if there is one place that does not deserve our tears, it's my favorite store, Target, which is where you were. I think, I hope, I'm pretty sure that's what you said, you're at Target. When things like this happen in public, if I start feeling like I'm getting caught up in the sadness or wanting to leave, I take myself to the candle section, I go smell up all those candles, <laughs> remind myself that I have the ability to breathe and love life, or I go to see what's at the dollar section <laughs> and see what pointless thing that I can buy because I can and I just want to make myself feel better. All of this to say, I hope you don't find this weird. I think you're incredible and I just wanted to just send you a little message that you're not alone and I'm so, so sorry this happened to you, but you are so much bigger than this and I hope you never ever forget that.